How to use scores, marks, points and grades. Scores. A score is the total number of points that a student earns on a test or other schoolwork. For example, suppose you are telling your students about an upcoming test. You could say this. Each section is worth 25 points, for a total score of 100. You can also use score as a verb. In that case, it means to get points. Elaine scored well on her science test. Marks and grades. The word mark is generally used in British English for the American word grade. Both mean the same thing. A measure. Teachers in the United States are more likely to use the word grade for the number or letter that indicates how a student performed in a class or on a test. In the U.S., for example, many students get letter grades to represent their numeric score for a single paper or exam, as well as an entire term of study in a subject. Points. A point is a numeric unit that is used in tests and other schoolwork. We also use this word for classroom activities and games. For example, you asked about what to tell a student who has done well in class. I would say, I will give you 10 points for your correct answer. Or you might explain before you ask a question. I will give you 10 points if you answer this question correctly. Understanding differences. Now let's go over a few differences. The difference between the words grades and points is that a grade is usually based on the number of points scored. For example, if 100 points is the total, and the student got between 90 and 100 points, the student gets an A grade. A grade of B would go to scores of 80 to 89, C is for 70 to 79, and so on. In the U.S., a grade is almost always represented by a letter, and points by numbers. When talking about the difference between two scores we could use a sentence like the one you asked about. Your score is five points higher this week than it was on last week's test. You will get a good grade for the term. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe for more.